with Gamer Leaf, the podcast in which one man strives to level up his geekhood and helping you do the same one battle at a time. <laughs> now, let's get geeky with Gamer Leaf. Welcome to Getting Geeky with Gamer Lee! Too many E's. Yeah, welcome to Getting Geeky with Gamer Lee. I'm joined with... E. Who am I joined with tonight? E. Who are you? Are you E? I'm Bat Leaf. Yeah, Bat Leaf. How you doing, Bat Leaf? Nothing. Nothing? Well, you wanted to talk about a good game. Okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, stop. You wanted to talk about a good c- candy for gaming. What's a good candy that gamers might like? Um, how about hot balls? They really hot, hot, hot. For all hot. you adults, that is, she's referring to fireballs. Why do you like hot balls? I don't know. You don't know? You just like them? Mm-hmm. Because... Also, what's up with candy bars? Well, well, candy bars are different than hot balls. Do you think if you're playing a game, should you take a hot ball or a candy bar? Both of them. Well, candy bars, you might get chocolate all over your board game. But with hot balls, you wouldn't, would you? I would get red toast from it. That's because you constantly take it out of your mouth because it's too hot. Am I right? Yeah, I need a drink in it. But then you stick it in your drink. You put the hot ball in your drink and let all the hotness come out. Am I not right? Um, yay, yeah, boy. You need it to go in the water. Yeah, so you put your hot ball or fireball, whatever you want to call it, in the hot water. Ball! You put it in the water and then let all the hotness go out. And then what does it taste like <laughs> after the hotness is gone, Batley? I'm sick, kind of. You're sick, kind of. But yet, yeah, you're still coming on getting geeky with Game Relief with us? Um, I don't know. Okay. Pants, 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 pants. It's time for <laughs> Kickstarter <laughs> Corner. <laughs> <laughs> to begin now. A little short interruption here before we get into the meat of it, for you guessed it Kickstarter Corner. Sorry for not including the tracks today, but we've got some great games to bring to you. If I don't get to them all right now, I'll get to them in the next part of our show. Rebels of Ravenport upgraded, and we're going to have the creator of this show on the podcast in the coming days. Assemble your guild, defy the overlord, take back Ravenport, a competitive card drafting strategy game. This one is pretty cool, and they go through the 13th, Friday the 13th of April. So definitely check this one out, and like I said, we'll have Mike on the show. Don't forget about Cat Rescue, the game of saving cats. Cat Rescue is a one-to-four player co-op game. Players work together to save cats and adopt them, just like in real life. And then we've got Mornquest, which will also have one of the creators on the show. An adventure game steeped in the myth and magic of Irish folklore. Not Scottish, but Irish. And then don't forget about Wonder Cammer, the card game of curating curious collections. It's a tabletop game where players compete to acquire unusual artifacts and curate the most magnificent cabinet of curiosities. This great game is for three to five players. And they got about three weeks, just a little shy of Three weeks left to go on back in this project. So check it out on the Kickstarters. They go through the 22nd of April. And then don't forget about Operation Deep Freeze. A top secret NWO adventure. It's a project in Latvia was put on deep freeze when the Soviets pulled out. Time is now critical for Icon to secure it before it thaws. This one is... The first NWO adventure since NWO adventure or top secret relaunched this last little bit. So if you got that game, now you have another adventure to take to it. Then we've also got 
the first step on Callus. Yes, sir, Bob, do we or do we not? We do. And just a little bit about this one. The first step on Callus. It's a new strategy board game. The Cross of Monopoly with Medieval War. It's awesome. There are tons of board games out there. But few combine the gaming mechanics of Monopoly and cross it with the accent of medieval war. Introducing Callus. Callus goes way beyond traditional roll and move board games. Players, two to four, build networks as they choose cards, roll dice, and strategically direct their faction to a powerful character of their faction of powerful characters, soldiers throughout the detailed gaming board. But it doesn't stop there. No, it doesn't. Callus incorporates the use of dice cards. These unique cards can alter the result of every roll and influence outcomes on the fly. There are many ways to be victorious in the world of Callus, From winning battles to scoring points and occupying enemy territories. But rest assured, only one will be crowned king. Callus comes with a specialized modular gaming board that keeps games fresh and each character comes with their own backstory and abilities to add to do the excitement. The first step on Callus goes for about two weeks let now and they end on Monday the 16th of April. Let's help this great game get funded at the time of this recording on Saturday night. They were about a fourth of the way there. Let's help them get a little bit more going on. And uh, let's not stop there. <coughs> We've got Dead Throne. It's an open world board game with mechanical market. Dead Throne is an open world board game with never before seen components and mechanics. If you want to find out more about them, go ahead and listen to our interview with one of the creators. This definitely is a great game. And they're over double funded. Yes, and they have less than two weeks ago. They end on Saturday, the 14th of April. And then, oh yeah, did I tell you? We've got True Messiah. It's a game of cult warfare. Actually, Craig, who is the creator of that, he canceled and relaunched this game. And it's doing, yeah, so he canceled and relaunched and brought the cheaper rates to you guys. So, Dalai meets Dunal. Recruit followers secretly. Bid on surreal powers. Battle to control the wasteland. Two to four players. One to two hours. Definitely check out this game on the Kickstarter. Free shipping in the U.S. Yes, sir, Bob. And it goes through Friday the April 13th. So, definitely check that one out. And then, last but not least... As the Entrepreneur Game by E Speaks. It's a fun educational and interactive game. Everyone can play. Everyone can play. Now, yeah. Yes, sir, Bob. Build businesses, grow your income assets, all while avoiding bankruptcy. I hope they make it. If they don't, I hope they relaunch. This game looks like a blast. And it goes through the 14th of April. So definitely check it out on the Kickstarters. And now we join this interview already in progress, as per Batleaf said earlier. Game over. Next week to see if Gamer Leaf and Dreams are respawned.